Welcome back. So the question was, do you have to be wealthy to experience God's joy and blessings from giving? Let's consider 2 Corinthians 8, 1 to 4. This is a powerful scripture and it answers our question. This is where Paul said, And now, brothers, we want you to know about the grace that God has given the Macedonian churches. Out of the most severe trial, their overflowing joy and their extreme poverty welled up in rich generosity. For I testify that they gave as much as they were able and even beyond their ability. Entirely on their own, they urgently pleaded with us for the privilege of sharing in this servant's service to the saints. I think that scripture is very clear that uh, you don't have to be wealthy to experience the joy of giving and to be blessed by God. Uh, this, these people were very poor and God blessed them. Remember in, also in Luke 21, the parable of the, the widow, who um, that was a situation where some very wealthy people were filing by, putting in significant amounts of money into the basket, into the offering basket. And this widow came along uh, in Luke 21, put in a few copper coins of a few mites. It, in terms of monetary value, it was very small, probably immaterial. But um, Christ said she put in more than all the rest because they gave out of their abundance. She put in all that she had to live on. So you do not have to be wealthy. You don't even have to be of average income. You can be of very modest income and still experience the joy of giving and uh, the blessings from God. And remember, God doesn't measure it in terms of the amount you give. It's really the heart and uh, also in light of, of what God's entrusted to you. And I'll talk more about that later. Number 10, give cheerfully. Uh, God will bless generous and cheerful givers. Second Corinthians 9, Paul said, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So here's the next question. Why does God bless us financially? So I want you to think about that one. Why does God bless us financially? And if you can, find a reference to scripture. But I'd like you to, the video's gonna stop, discuss that if you're in, your, in a group, write down your answer with your reference to scripture, and then click on the next video.